Hello, it's 4.54 p.m. And I had nothing to eat or drink at all today, but I slept mostly all day um, off and on and <clears throat> had some intense dreams. But one of them, um, I had a weird dream that I moved back to New Orleans, on which I couldn't anyway because, you know, what happened, Hurricane Ida, and plus there's really no housing or much of anything there. I'm not saying none, but, you know, it's very hard. And so um, with, like, um, so I had a dream, a weird dream that I moved back to New Orleans and I usually stay to myself. I don't hang with people, but I ended up in a dream. It's like I almost got into serious trouble for quote unquote, you know how they said, hung around the wrong crowd. And I, it was at nighttime, and I don't remember exactly the events that happened, but I don't know if it was dream manipulation or induced dream, but it's a dream I woke up remembering but I don't remember the other dreams I had. Today is the fake foster mom Anne's criminal illegal satanic birthday. Narcissistic abuser. I lost track of how old she is. Um, I guess she might be 74 or something like that. I could be wrong, but she's somewhere around there. And I remember when her mother, the foster grandma, Mildred Collins, was about that age back in the 90s, which I guess was about um, 25 years ago, somewhere around there, almost 25 years ago. <clears throat> so it's a long time ago. We all getting older and scary <laughs> to me that, you know, to see when even foster family members when they were little kids and it's weird to see them all grown adults now. And they've and even biological family members have passed me up on certain things, you know. And people in society in general that I'm thirty eight years old and people eighteen, you know, can have good jobs, a roof over their head family, I mean, getting married, having kids, car, and, you know, as I said, these people just freaking living their best life and living it up, partying and stuff. And if I wanted to treat myself, you know, to, to a, um, a, a $10 meal, people start flipping out, the perps start flipping out over that with money that they themselves had not donated. You know, it, it could be my work money and they'll flip and go off. I'm like, this is insane. Why are people doing this to me? You know, so my body feels weak. I don't feel like leaving the hotel property because I just dread and don't feel like being perped. And, um, I do not feel like being perp today, you, you know, and I feel like I want to, I need to get a break. Um, <clears throat> and I need to get a break, you know, um, from all this gang stalking abuse. If I ain't getting it in person, I'm getting it online. And, you know, I was getting, felt like everybody on Quora, Quora was, you know, against me, and, you know, I guess within three months, you know, I got that, my $24.07, uh, oh, y'all, according to y'all perps, ooh, that's a lot of money for me asking a bunch of questions, huh? So it make y'all asses fucking happy that I deleted my Quora yesterday, last night, I deleted my Quora to make you bastards happy. You know, as I said, you know, everybody was against me. I had no support. They're making my heart, my, they're making my chest hurt exactly right here. They just, I mean, it was just a mildly sharp pain right here. 
so <clears throat> the garlic irritated my mouth so I had to back off of it and it made me feel like it was trying to eat my mouth away and um So, I don't know if I should stick to, like, I've heard people say that they've had miraculous, <clears throat> I mean, but it's hard for me to find a way to do it being on the streets. And I, it's, I, I can't even find the convenience to floss and brush my teeth being on the streets, you know, but me being in a hotel, I mean, <clears throat> I guess oil pulling for a couple of days when you got a, a you know, a mouth infection. It's going to take some time, you know. <clears throat> and one thing about carrying around coconut oil in a bag is it, it no matter how tight you tie up, um, I mean, no matter how tight you um, close, I mean, you um, t screw the, um, the jar, the coconut oil <clears throat> is still... Um, and the coconut oil will still leak in your bag and get extremely messy and ruin important documents. Worse than what water would do. <clears throat> so, I'm disappointed because I thought this was going to be the week that I can go to, to that job and, um, you know, start working and get housed, and I probably wouldn't even be here, you know, and I mean, free housing, come on, free housing, and I don't want to say any, any, the, any more details, but, you know, free housing plus, you know, free housing plus utilities and plus free Wi-Fi, plus you can work for $12 an hour and save your money, but at the Grand Canyon, I think, I remember saying that, you know, I had to, the housing, <clears throat> the housing and the food came out of your check. And I didn't realize that the activities done was considered gang stalking at the Grand Canyon. But believe it or not, um, at the Grand Canyon, it seemed like everybody had internet access except me. But, um, <clears throat> but it's like, in a remote area like the Grand Canyon North Rim, they still had a way to find to vibrate the fuck out of me. Like the first few days, everything was fine, but then they vibrated me every damn night. Every night at the Grand Canyon, they vibrated me, <clears throat> and um, and, and people who started off not being a perp then turn around and start to act like a perp. They had some people who were straight up perps when I got there, before I got there. Like, how the hell I'm brand new, you know, first five seconds of seeing me, you got your face twisted up mad, like you hate me and, you know, wish me to die and stuff like that. And I, I wasn't aware of, I mean, I was only aware of certain tactics of gang stalking that I was going through and stuff, but Damn, the workplace mobbing has started the instant I got there, and I only lasted 11 days before a narcissistic perp who lied on me, she drove me to quit. You know, and she made up a bizarre lie, bizarre and dangerous lie on me. <clears throat> and, and you know, she was older than me, but she was from Alabama, and she was older than me. I don't know if she was racist. And her name was Melanie. And she deliberately threw, um, like, soup or something against the wall and then deliberately waited a day later and then tried to force me to clean it up and try to bully me to obeying the line cooks when I was a dishwasher. And I said, other line cooks I don't have to listen to. I, I mean, I could only got to listen to the headline cook. I was never instructed to to um follow your orders. But, you know, she was bullying me. And then they had, you know, a few other people. Quite, I mean, they only had a couple of people who was nice to me. But then they all turned against me. 
you know, and um, that's, I, I mean, <clears throat> so, I don't know. I am extremely hungry right now. And, um, <clears throat> you know, the last time I looked outside about 20 minutes ago, it was not raining, but I don't know if it's going to rain some more. But I'm glad to get the opportunity to get a sh that I got a shower. <clears throat> and, you know, I'm going to shower again tonight and then twice tomorrow and then Friday before I leave. And I'm going to take a shower, you know. I'm hungry. I kind of know what I want to eat, but I don't. I'm, but I'm not sure. But as I said, I'm. I, I'm kind of frightened to go leave and go out and walk to go get something to eat. I'm just like really scared to try to go get something to eat. And I know y'all might think, oh, she's so silly because she's out on the streets all the time. But it's like. I have a right to have a break from that being gang stalked and abused and patrolled and babysat or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> but I wonder what do y'all expect me to eat? If y'all think I should live off of bologna sandwiches or peanut butter, I mean, shucks, I love peanut butter sandwiches, but if y'all think I should just live off of bologna sandwiches, you know, the reason why, I, I mean, it's hard to try to get me some water to drink. And, um, you know, as I said, people, now that I'm, I mean, people had more respect for me when I just was walking around with the book bag. And they couldn't even tell I was homeless. But they see me walking around with the book bag plus the black trash bag that has my sleeping bag inside me carrying that around i get treated with I, that's I, I mean that's why i got treated with that abuse and discrimination and that girl lied on me at o'reilly's and that's a, one of those pubs with no really no healthy food but it's overpriced nasty food but she used to be nice enough to give me voluntarily Without me even asking, she would just to give me as much free pineapple juice, you know, and she would um, let me charge my phone and sit there for at least four hours or stay how long as I want. So I just wonder, just why did she flip, you know? And I called last Friday, and and the girl, the a different girl who was supposedly the manager took down my number and said the the owner was gonna um call me back but I never heard anything back <clears throat> you know and I said with that with the way she did um uh, you know it's just uncalled for or um, and it's like you're gonna ban me and get the police no trespassing it's either you maliciously and intentionally lied on me or it was a doggone misunderstanding but due to this gang stalking it wasn't an accident what you did and I hope you fry in hell with your high skirts, with your slutty high skirts, tattoos, and fake long hair, with your undeserved fake long hair, you know, <clears throat> and your narcissistic fake shitty attitude. I, I hope all of it goes to burning hell with you. <clears throat> so, I mean, if I'm supposed to be be able to heal my body, it, my body can't be healed with dollar peanut butter and dollar white bread. You know, my body can't be healed with bologna sandwiches. <clears throat> but the going to the restaurant and getting like a doggone fifteen or twenty or thirty dollar doggone salad. Why I can't even afford it. I can't even get it. 
you know, it'll be like a handful of a bed of greens is what they call it. You know, a, just one handful of a bed of greens and then all the blue cheese in the world, pecans, dried cranberries and apples. And you'd be lucky if you get some doggone, um, some, <clears throat> and, you, you, and that'll be, that alone would be $15. And you'd be lucky if you get some carrot shredded on there. And, um, and then the salad dressing contains, uh, natural flavors, aborted fetal cells, which you gotta stay away from or try to. And then, oh, and you might get some glazed pecans on there, or glazed walnuts. And if you want chicken, an extra six ninety nine for that. And then, uh, if you want salmon, that'll be an extra ten ninety nine. So I can't even, I don't even buy, or I can't buy, you know, stuff like that. <clears throat> you, you know, those kind of fifteen twenty dollars, thirty dollars salads when eating out at restaurants <clears throat> so I'm just trying to figure out what to do well for the evening but I mean I know Domino's is a cheap deal but it's not really healthy you know, and as much as I love the chocolate lava cakes, I feel diabetic after eating just one of them. But they're addictive, but I can't, I, I can't really, <clears throat> you know, I seldom eat, you know, Domino's. Or, I mean, I have a few times this year, but <clears throat> lava cakes, um the lava cakes they taste so good but i end up shaking like a shaking like a like um you know i end up shaking like as if i could tell my blood sugar is high you know after one lava cake and i don't touch mcdonald's no more but a few years ago i had a mcdonald's shake and i felt like it was too sweet and my body got the shakes from eating I mean, no pun intended, but my body started shaking, you know, after eating McDonald's. But, you know, I don't eat much Wendy's anymore either. McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, um, Popeye's, Churches, I don't touch them. I don't even touch Taco Bell anymore, and Taco Bell even became more expensive. And, but Taco Bell would never fill you up. Like, you have to eat, like, 10 tacos in order to get full. But I don't even, I can't even eat, you know, because I heard that it's the chemicals in the food make you crave more, you know. <clears throat> but Denny's, I'm, I'm sorry, Wendy's, I'm, I don't remember about Burger King, but Wendy's, if I eat Wendy's, I'm satisfied. But McDonald's. Something about me, but I heard it's adren adrenochrome and, and people being, for, I mean, you know, unknowingly eating, um, like they say, human meat in McDonald's and, and a lot of these mainstream fast food, you know, that you kind of cannibalize and don't realize it. And they have, you know, the adrenochrome. And I heard that's one of the reasons why people would eat McDonald's. And then almost immediately go vomit or go throw up, and yet they're addicted and can't stop eating it. And I've had to deal with people nearly run over me with their car trying to go get McDonald's. I'm like, damn, it's not that serious. The I, I mean, <clears throat> it's not, it's not that serious, you know. And Crystal, to me, Crystal is kind of it's good, but it's kind of expensive. But it's like. Like, we don't have White Castle out here. We have Crystal. But White Castle sucks. Nasty burgers. You know, nasty burgers at White Castle. But Crystal <clears throat> is like a good version of White Castle and better quality. But it's way more expensive. 
you know, and they have culvers, but it's overpriced, but nasty and rude, rude customers. I'm sorry, not customers. I meant to say rude employees at Culver's. You know, I can, I mean, at, I don't know if it's at every location or it's just that one location that I went to at Culver's. That every time I went there, they were rude. So I haven't been to Culver's in a long time. But Culver's, I don't think it's mainstream fast food. But, you know, they're in a few different states. But they have nasty barbecue sauce, Culver. <clears throat> so um there was a point in time this year for a long time I was living off of a lot of Asian food you know because <clears throat> it would be plentiful and cheap but I got tired of that you know I know what I want, but I'm not announcing it on here. I mean, I wish for something nutritious and healthy. You know, um, yeah. <clears throat> So yeah, uh, with McDonald's, it even it used to even make me want to hurt somebody for a sausage biscuit, and it seemed like to try to break away from it, it's like a spell that you're under, <clears throat> and, and it's like I never I never assaulted or hit nobody over McDonald's, but you know, it's a hard spell to break, to break away from McDonald's, and you feel like you want to hurt somebody just to get it. Like a freaking, and some other people wonder, is it some doggone drugs they put in the food? What the hell is going on? And I remember a couple of years ago, people fighting and actually killing each other over the um, over the Popeye's chicken chicken sandwiches that were three ninety nine, and I had already broken away from eating stuff like that. But you know, I still do have a, a sugar addiction you know in which I relapsed because I quit for a long time off and on <clears throat> and so um being depressed because of this targeting you know but I need to try to you know reprogram my mind to break away from feeling like I have to have something sweet every day you know but I was I didn't do any intentional fasting today I didn't do any intentional fasting, but um, I was just so tired. And as I said, I just didn't feel like leaving the place or going, getting perked <clears throat> and, and people following me and stuff like that. Like me just trying to get a break from it all. <clears throat> you know, yeah, so I heard that they take homeless people and human traffic them and target them and mur murder them for their organs. And there was a, a, a guy on YouTube who did a video talking about this, but I can't find it. <clears throat> and, um, you know, he was talking about the Masons and stuff like that, you know. And he, I think he was supposedly a targeted individual as well. <clears throat> and so I heard that they'll take you while you're homeless and dirty and kill you and then grind up your organ, I mean, grind up your body and serve it as meat in McDonald's without cleaning your body off. It's like horrifying. And so there was another girl who did a McDonald's video on YouTube and said, be careful, not what you're eating, but be careful who you're eating. And, and you don't even know that if you feed your two-year-old child McDonald's, then you don't know who your child is cannibalizing that's some creepy stuff <clears throat> you know and y'all might i mean the things done in secret you know the bible speaks against the things done in secret you know ephesians um 5 and 12 <clears throat> i think it's the scripture um ephesians 5 and 11 through 12 and so um they don't want these people. These people do this blood sacrificing and 
satanic rituals, especially in Hollywood, they kill off babies. They torture and kill, kill babies and they try to get the highest fear out of a young two-year-old so that they can, and they want to drink the blood, <coughs> of, drink the blood, you know, the Illuminati drug, blood drinking ceremonies and stuff like that, you know. Um, the adrenochrome is that the elite's blood that they kill off a baby to keep themselves living longer. And it, that made me wonder why narcissistic abusers, if they sold out in Masonic, why the fuck they can look young at 90 years old and still be able-bodied and can live long and stuff when you're praying for their asses to die. Yeah, I said to pray for their evil asses to die and go to hell. <clears throat> it's like, why aren't you dead yet? You, you know, stop, stop destroying people. You know, and so um, it's it's like really crazy. Um, with, you you know, the truth is most people can't take it the extreme tr truth and the bizarre truth, but you know it gotta be spread. You know, and people try to shut it down and silence it. And then, you know, the first thing they want to do is drug you up on psychiatric medications. <clears throat> I don't even donate blood anymore, and I'm skeptical about donating plasma. And so...